Hello, assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Dila's Princess. As you know, my name is Fadila Ali. Please, if you haven't subscribed yet, click on the subscription box below. And for those of you that have been here for ages, thank you very much. And please click on your bell button to notify whenever I'm here. We are consistent as con the word consistent. <laughs> so today I'm going to just give you some points, uh, four points of how to uh, make your man value and respect you. It's not about love. Leave that word out of the, the equation. Especially, especially for those of you that are married. Stay tuned if you're one of them. You benef benefit this a whole lot. Hmm. And teach it to your kids as well. So what we have for you today is how to make your man value and respect you. So whatever. Mm -hmm. To uh, let let me uh, rephrase my 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 what's it called my sentences again or my topic for the day. To make your husband respect and value, you. it's never too late. This video when you're about to watch, watch it alone because I'm here to give you some secrets on how to go about this. And if your man knows you watch this, probably he know where your tricks are coming from. It's a secret. I don't know where to give it to people. So since I have this platform, why not? So how to make your man value and respect you? This so number one, let's dive into straight to the for this video without no uh in more introductions. <laughs> so don't uh number one is don't make yourself available. Hmm. The saying might sound a bit weird. Stay tuned, let me have the time. So what I mean here is don't make yourself available. If you're self-available, you know, most times when women are married, we take ourselves to be like our life has ended. I don't know who gave us that or how we are just grown into that. Even Islam didn't say this, we get it. So I don't know where we, we tend to have it or it's just us wanting to be just there. You get it? So first and foremost, when you're about to get married, if you're not working or if you, you have aim, don't never leave it alone. You really need that, especially when you're married. You don't even need all this when you're not married because you're, you're under your parents and you don't, they won't easily get tired or they won't, when they disrespect you, it's okay. They are your parents. One year that they do something, they will just talk in your face and there's nothing you can do about it. But when your husband is doing that to you, you feel this doesn't love you and that's where emotions tend to be are all, all over the places so don't make yourself available by if it's education that you're in and this man comes to your life let him know he, he he should make a promise because promise when you break it it's not you that is going to punish you Allah one of Allah make him promise you that your education is intact and if you are a businesswoman or you are an entrepreneur whatever you're doing with your life you let him know because he met you in that position if he's not ready for you to continue say bye bye your husband your your destined husband will find you that's one thing we don't we, uh, women of this days don't get they make themselves so available to the stand men tend to not respect women again and and how islam even taught us men are supposed to make women feel like queens how islam taught uh, is say uh, is teaching us is to make uh make women so special especially when they're married but do you see this in our community no because why some women are almost so our modern women make themselves so available they can find anything outside so if they are um legal wives are they have problem with them they feel it's nothing so women we have to, um, first of all, value ourselves, especially to those single ladies outside. You want they, they be a married person and you will face the same consequences. Please, let's train our women and our daughters to value themselves because they are very precious. They should know this. They shouldn't allow any, any Tom, Tom and uh, Dick and Harry, uh, Harry just deceive them along the way. May Allah help us all, inshallah. So don't make yourself available by making yourself so useful to the stand. Your husband had to see you. 
whenever he sees you he he values that moment because he knows you're not that easy to be you just just you know when um when i was growing up i can see some women whenever you go to the house they're just there they're just there the man goes everywhere they come and meet them the same place ah it's just too much woman you don't even think about only women want good marriage just more than men i don't know what but this is how it is and it's not haram they also want good marriages so uh invest in yourself what you produce of yourself is what will attract you what uh, is the kind of man that will attract you you can't be just there it's very 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 idle and attract that rich man if you're able to do that maybe with your beauty you suffer in this person's hand be very useful if it's education if it's hand work or something just grab it make use of it let them value you immediately they meet you to like even when they are, you're married you're giving and you're giving, you're giving like five children to them let them value you. sometimes we don't need uh our mothers don't talk about uh, our community it's just i don't know our lama don't preach about this they don't preach about marriage how marriage should be how a woman should hold themselves and everything i don't know it's about fighting and everything that's not that's a video for another day let's just leave it there so one don't be sick make yourself available and number two be confident with yourself be confident as a lady if you're missing this confident part you're listening a lot even if you're not confident you're that shy person in front of your husband you have to hold that you have to be very i don't know <laughs> this is making me so emotional that i'm talking with so much passion just bear with me <laughs> this part uh i don't know how to make it rich every woman i'll be happy so if you find this video just share with any woman you know young girls whatever just let, let them know this point because our mothers will never, never teach us this that's why a lot of women are suffering in marriage be confident confident men are very attracted to confidence as a woman don't you feel attracted to a lady that is so confident that you admire her so much you don't know you admire her so much so even if you as a woman admire your fellow woman when she's confident how much a man we are all uh, uh created different we have different behaviors and everything but in front of your husband that confidence should be there believe in yourself if if he didn't see anything valuable in you he wouldn't even approach your love bit to say he, he, he wants you to be his wife so whatever he told you that he values hold on tight to that and women set boundaries i like women when they set boundaries it's not a bad thing it's not like you being a, a feminist it should it, you should have that little bit of that in you as a woman or else you'll be a doormat when a man feels you so soft they tend to step on you like 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 a doormat let's just leave it that so all that i'm just listening to you uh, list list said listen <laughs> uh, to you today do it with respect i don't i don't intend to let uh, let you know this and then some people just go all out and do it and it will look so disrespectful do it be collected you know being confident in the sense of your your uh, you dressing up whatever you're doing like you know what you stand for like you know who you are as a person if you don't know who you are people take you for granted do you know that so if you, you you're at that point you don't even know who you are just look in the mirror every morning just remind that lady you see in that mirror who she is and you don't know how uh god created that he put that power in us that if this power is to reflect in this world this world will be a good place for us women because we have that power most of the times women deem their lives when they are married to the stand they they forget themselves it's just when some of them realize their power when they are divorced then you see her doing so much well so i, I want you to grab that power when you are in marriage you have you can do everything you decide to do it's your life being married doesn't mean like your life has ended as a woman. If it's that, marriage and childbearing doesn't have to stop you from your own goals in life as a woman. That's why a lot of women suffer is when marriage is ended, uh, ends because they tend to just 
you give up on their life they think marriage is that that's it that they don't even if they're schooling they will just post it there if they're doing some business they feel like it men don't like reliability these days and this modern men they, they they like good stuff more than as women as a woman you know like oh marrying a rich man is halal same as them so now they they they, they, they value that more than you can't be idle and they see that one girl who is very doing something with their life and they'll come to you so just know and it's not all about marriage it's not about it's not every woman being the Allah has created them to be married on this earth so don't force it just know yourself uh work on yourself you have a lot to do with yourself that you even forget what's what and whenever you find yourself and value yourself that's when you attract good people prominent people in your life and good husbands yes yeah, so that's number two let me I'll, I'll try not to make this video too long and number three become a roller coaster of your emotions you have to be a roller coaster on your emotions you have to be all like you have to be fun you have to be um amazing scary like i'll i'll uh ponder a little bit more on these things i'm mentioning and you have to be wanted you as a lady you have to be wanted you know it's a, such a shame that uh i don't know who lecturers that marriage have to be, work with with women marriage have to work with men as a woman you can be given a man to marry and if you decide to do it whether you don't love them you stick to it as a man there's no way that works so for a, ma a marriage to hold is on men so don't go and overdo stuff you're making us that uh that know this thing so far because you make uh, a man think it's easy somewhere it's not easy you're making it easy and they will use you and dump you you know be uh let me not digress on what i'm saying so number three be uh, a roller coaster of your emotion be fun don't be too uh, uh rigid like you always being serious when your husband is there you're just serious just be fun relax relax it's your partner it's not your father sorry to say it's not your uncle it's just your partner somebody you share intimacy with it's not somebody you should be scared of if you're scared that man is not your husband run run because you're ruined because you'll be in that situation for the rest of your life until that person decide to leave you no marriage should be fun marriage is uh, all the, the uh, marriage was said to 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 do is to make two of you at peace at peace so if you can't find fun in your marriage if you can't find uh, uh you can't find fun stuff fun I don't fun means a whole lot you can be funny like you know and being funny doesn't mean to for a woman to just go all out i don't mean that because most of the times women are attracted with funny men funny men not too much like women like men that make them laugh but as a woman if you be like that men tend to be off it because they they don't see as a woman you have to just go all out to make them laugh that much but while the fun thing is happening be involved you get don't overdo as a woman you have to be collected you have to know your your standard don't overdo everything that you're doing uh, too much of everything is bad being a good 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 person is bad so as uh, uh, so as being bad person bad person is bad you have to be a little bit of everything and you, the roller coaster emotions um and uh, really of emotions include being a bit scary yes that's when i'm saying like you have to set boundaries and nobody wants their boundaries to be set on you get it so whenever and human beings are bound to step on your boundaries you no matter who they are being setting it doesn't mean they won't step on it but whenever they do let them know they did it you're human you're bound to be happy when something good happens to you and same way when bad things happen to you you have to show that emotions as well so don't feel like oh if i show him that uh what he did is not is bad don't that's what i i said earlier don't overdo stuff doing everything little little let the, the person knows this thing he did you like it so that he knows next time he can do it same applies to when he do something bad that he knows he's human you get it he's human he's just your partner he's your partner 
you can ignore your your ma uh, your master uh, slave and master relationship even slave and master in islam is not allowed you have to treat your slaves good so to talk about your partner especially your husband so i will try to just tamper uh, uh, touch a little bit of everything because i just don't want my video to be too long i don't want us to reach 20 minutes so last but not the least be unpredictable unpredictable as in all this has stated if you keep it in your life you're unpredictable you some something uh when your, your husband do something to you don't let him know this is how you act every time sometimes just overlook overlooking is very good you know how you treat your uh, your little kids uh, siblings when you do stuff just because you don't want them to feel like you were too much you your dad's big sister who like sometimes you will look you 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 be like you are dumb you didn't see it just overlook the stuff you can overlook the petty petty stuff don't because if you talk about uh let's say if your partner uh, your husband do something wrong to you and you keep complaining any little thing you complain you become a nerd it's not it, it keeps men off you know the what uh men how men are treated if you don't know to, how to deal with them you end up using yourself because you will try to do and uh, unpredictable means the whole thing that stated so just make it all all the uh, the three points above impact in your life be confident be emotional roller coaster have your emotions at hand set boundaries don't make yourself too much available this when i'm i'm here to just tell one story i know 20 minutes will just reach anyways so you know men hate it when like you have issue especially there are some women they feel like whenever they have issue with their partner maybe they complain at home they'll tell them oh go back and be nice to him somebody who did wrong to you you don't have to go and do nice to him just leave whatever that problem is that's what you can do but just being like you know I, I, earlier i stated that if a man likes you and it's just too much in your face it keeps you off this applies to men men ones is even worse they just don't like you for chasing them men are chasers so when you as a woman take that upon yourself you lose them they don't find that attractive so as a woman just be there if the man gives you love you receive and retaliate just don't go like that receive and retaliate be appreciative of the chasing but don't chase never chase a man when your man pulls back whatever the situation is be it he's in a, a situation that happened that made him do that or just out of the blues he just decided to just lay back leave him that's why i said don't be available have find something in your life doing with that it wouldn't be a thing to you because you're busy so you don't have time to uh, to be somebody some big man there so if he's off you leave him off like that so this story i'm about to tell you i heard is so interesting and this will make you decide in your relationship in your marriage so that you have your marriage in your hand as a person you have to be controlled in your marriage yes no control over your man your man is not your priority your relationship is your priority and your priority is you taking care of yourself looking after yourself making yourself a priority alongside your partner you get it and in relationship it has to be uh, both sides you can't be giving love and expect nothing just leave it there if the that relationship allah has destined to work for forever it will work without you doing anything so don't overdo when it's not going to work you doing too much will not make it work so that's one thing i won't want to have in their mind and this will end my my video today there's a one there was a guy and a lady who were in very good relationship they they founded their relationship on friendship so they are friends and then love came they respect each other very well that's one thing we we, we in our community we listen men don't let your man disrespect you because if you hold your standard and you value yourself a man cannot disrespect you it's not every woman as i hear one woman saying that a man can raise his hands on them no it's not everyone if you make yourself very available a man would 
temple on your boundaries from and what is it for you know just hold your own just hold your own some some there are lots of marriages that women are in the love is gone they're working on themselves they're not working on that man that man they can't work on it work on yourself whilst working on it because relationships should be reciprocal we get it so if you feel he's laid back just give him time maybe he needs to figure himself out because some sometimes men go out of love and you cannot feed him that by you having yourself working on yourself can attract him back men hate it when we are we are so confident ourselves we don't give it there when they are at that point but women you look around you see women doing the other other way around so the story so this man they were in this relationship boy and a girl for a different relationship it's just a story so <laughs> don't judge anyway so uh one day this guy with them respecting each other this lady is very good to him she loves him he decided uh, you know how men behave you can't predict them that's why you have to hold your own in your marriage in your relationship you have to hold your own so he just decided to just end this relation they were not married they were non-muslims even though these days muslims also do that like that so so anyway uh he decided to end his relationship funny enough he, he called this lady and told her uh honestly i want to call off this relationship and i'm more interested you know what the lady did this is how men behave this is how men are so put this in your mind the lady just said okay that's fine she just moved out you know she was staying with him she comes to him and she stopped going there he never uh, heard, heard from her she never called or text him that was it that okay was it so it came to a point he he, he was out of love at that point he was just in, his brain is in a messy place so he was just wondering if if that woman loves him was he expecting anything else that's how most women behave they will be like wow you leaving me i've been into this relationship for so long you've wasted my time you didn't you, nobody wasted your time you decided to do it in that relationship or in that marriage so any ends just pack your baggages move on you have more things to do you don't know what god have for you in in uh, in front of you just move on this lady why work out and within some few months she got a, a, a rich guy a multi-millionaire guy he was a basketball player and they were dating and this guy she loved they were just normal average people working earning that little peanuts and she was dating this guy this guy obviously because they were friends they were friends to friends so with their, their friends beside there uh brought that information to them oh you know your girl is dating this footballer da, 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 da. so he now he's like wow he ended it so who is it to blame and he can't go back to her because she never looked back she just moved on because she can't force him just when i hate it when i see women crying for love from men why men are cheeses if they don't want to chase you just leave them just leave them you having more uh 10 kids doesn't stop you from uh getting if allah destined it not you you not getting your destined husband for you so why would you show him that emotion when it's walking away show him with your strong and it pains them that much <laughs> so anyway so he had that and he he was just sad he cried some ways and everything he showed his emotion because obviously he's jealous and everything finding somebody who is even better than him financially so uh, that was it so some years passed and then oh uh, okay for months passed and he went to his mom and the mom was asking him where is your girl she knows them together so he was like oh i ended the relationship the mother was like what you ended that relationship what that good girl you know she's your she 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 she's your wife and he told her how the thing was how she received the information and did nothing and he never heard from her the, the mother said in her belief she said she prayed for her and she uh, she knew that lady is his wife if she he should go and look for her and that's exactly what he did obviously now he sees how valuable she is because she wouldn't cry 
beg for love she just needs to know he has to uh gather all his mind back together to realize that he lost something bigger so women what are you learning in this situation give them time if they even it leads to divorce you have nothing to lose they didn't see that bad side of you anytime they will remind of you they will remind you uh, they remember you sorry so anyways he went back to this lady and he him knowing he wouldn't get it but he tried to he tried he tried to talk her through and funny enough she accepted to come back because obviously she loves him but since he doesn't what was she there to do nothing she just has to go so she just left this rich guy because she has she loved him and they laid their relationship on friendship and respect that's very important even if you are in a relationship that you feel the respect is gone do all these things and your respect will be restored i'm telling you today so he did what he did and she came back and they are now married over how many years 20 30 years now yeah respect value yourself as a woman don't let man disrespect you in any way one way that i would step up, uh, on each other's foot is normal even with our friends we that's how that's happened but know your standard work on yourself don't give up on yourself work on yourself ladies so i'll end this video right here inshallah so if you like this video if you learned something here please give this video a thumbs up and share with every girl every woman every married woman and they maybe they're making one mistake they don't know they will realize it and work on that so if you love it uh, this video give it a thumbs up see you next time and i'm just <laughs> anyway i'm just looking at the time and it's just scaring me <laughs> i don't like to make the video long because it's not easy isn't it anyway this is it today so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and see my next video assalamu alaikum love you stay blessed